Hello, my name is Anna Laura Bryan and I'm from Decatur, Alabama. So let's start right off the top. We're here right. at a beauty pageant. So beauty is obviously a huge part of this. What is your biggest beauty secret? I would say my biggest beauty secret is water. And I know that sounds crazy, but I go through about three gallons of water a day, especially being a vocalist. That's my talent for this competition. And so I always like to stay hydrated. It keeps your skin clear. And it also just keeps you healthy and it keeps you just in your body just stays in check like that. Really? Yes. Now for vocals, how do you how do you prepare for your vocals? What is your warm up? The way that I prepare for my vocal performances, I usually do a set of warm ups every day, maybe scales. I might do certain warm up songs that my voice teacher would give me. I have throat coat. I go through about six tea bags of throat coat a day. And uh, like I said, keep drinking tons of water. And, and of course, I go over my song about maybe once or twice a day. I try not to do it too much because I don't want to overstress my voice. Who's your favorite singer, your favorite artist out there? Oh, my favorite singer as far as my girl favorite is uh, probably Catherine McPhee, and then my favorite male artist is Michael Bublé. Ah, good choices, yes. good choices. Now, let's talk about fashion. Yes. Okay, you guys are all dressed down today, I noticed. So what is what is something when, when you're at home, nothing to do, what's your favorite thing to put on? Oh, my favorite thing to put on is a pair of oversized sweatpants and a t-shirt. Being an Alabama girl, I love to be comfortable. And of course, it's always complete with a messy bun. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fitness-wise, what is your, what's your workout routine? How did you prepare? What is something that, besides running, is there something that most girls maybe not, maybe not have done? You have. What's your secret weapon to fitness? My secret weapon to fitness is not cutting out everything. I feel like girls think that they have to cut out carbs, they have to cut out fats. And from someone that really had to go through a huge lifestyle change, I lost about 30 pounds over the course of my years competing to get to where I am. And I had to learn how to completely change my diet. Instead of eating, you know, like I said, being from Alabama, I love my fried foods. Just staying away from that, having that maybe once a week, making sure that I get the right kind of carbs, vegetable carbs a lot of the time, and then of course having my long chain carbs, which are more breads and your wheats, having that more in the morning. Also making sure I have plenty of fruit and like I said, plenty of vegetables. And then as far as working out, I love running. I have a wonderful bike trail in my hometown that go, runs along the river. So I love to run, usually run about five miles when I go home. And then when I'm in Birmingham, which is where I live now, I usually do sprint intervals because there are a lot of fields out there and uh, like soccer fields and places like that to go. And then I love weightlifting. So I really try to do a balance of everything because you, you need to have that change in muscle memory because your body gets used to certain kinds of workouts. Oh, wow, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You talk about diet. Um, what did you eat for breakfast today? Today I had McDonald's oatmeal. Nice. That's it. <laughs> uh, that's right. I had a little bit of coffee because I knew I was going to need the jolt. But then I also take, I have a vitamin regimen every day also. I take, I take fish oils about twice a day and then I take a multivitamin and then a B12 vitamin. So I guess that would be, that would come into breakfast as well. What's the biggest thing you did to prepare for the swimsuit competition? The biggest thing that I did to prepare for swimsuit was really just kept, kept doing what I did for Miss Alabama because I competed in Alabama for four years and so each year I would have to tweak something. It wasn't an overnight thing, it was just constant polishing and polishing and finally when I won Miss Alabama I felt like I finally got it right, what I wanted for swimsuit. And so I just kept working on walk. Whenever I would have a cool down, when I would run on the treadmill, I would use that time to practice walking because there were mirrors in front of my treadmill so I could actually see myself. I would, uh, I mean I would watch myself in uh, videos of when I competed in the past to see what I could have done to change. And then also looked at swimsuit options. I tried to pick the right color that would complement my hair because I, I think I might be the only redhead in the competition, maybe one other girl. And so just different different things like that to really help me prepare. Nice, nice. And lastly, where is it at? Embarrassing moments. Have you had any pageant embarrassing moments and what happened? Oh goodness, my best pageant embarrassing moment was probably when I emceed Miss Covered Bridge, which is a preliminary for Miss Alabama. And I had to go meet with the girls before the show started and their dressing room was across the, the courtyard, I believe. So I had to walk through the courtyard and a bug flew into my dress and I realized it while I was emceeing during swimsuit. So as these girls were walking out on stage, it was contestant number one is. So, but uh, I felt like I had a, a pretty good poker face considering the situation. 
God, but that's crazy. Yeah. Bug? Oh my God. I know. And when we walked off stage, my traveling companion was there, and I said, I think there's a bug in my dress. And so we started fanning it out, and it flew away. Oh my God. So thankfully, he never came back. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's talk about men. What is your secret to impressing all the men out there? I think the way that we really impress a guy is not to try so hard. I think the guys like the chase, and I could be wrong, but I think they like the chase, and I think they like it when you are not letting on that you're want. It's like they like that mysterious edge, like you know who you are, you're confident who you are, and they're like, oh, I like confident. And it, it just kind of all, you know, comes together like that. Is there something like when you prepare to go out on a date, what is your secret to impressing them that night? Oh, goodness, the way that I... As far as impressing a guy goes, I I really have never tried to really impress because my thought is I want a guy that likes me for me and I'm the girl that has tons of cats at home. I I love to just I love to watch football, but I love to do my girly things. Like I mean I want someone that wants me for me. And so that's my biggest goal. When I go out there, he's gonna see the same girl that he'll see every day from here on out. So if, if that doesn't impress him, then he probably doesn't want to be with me anyway. <laughs> Well said. Good point. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good luck with everything. Thank you right. so much. Pass. She's the host of that sweet retreat show. I travel the country checking out vacation homes. What's a vacation spot in your home state that I need to visit? Oh, definitely Gulf Shores, Alabama. We have some of the most beautiful beaches, sugar white beaches. They're absolutely beautiful this time, this time of the year and especially in the summer. So definitely head to Gulf Shores. All right. Allie Vincent, she hosts the Live Big with Allie Vincent show. Helps people eat healthy, get fit. She was the first female to win Biggest Loser. What do you want to be the first female to do? I want to be the first female to win an ultimate food challenge that only men have dominated. Nice, I like that. <laughs> so we'll just go look for it. Exactly. Okay, last one. Ryan Scott, he hosts um, Food Rush, talk, you know, big food show. What's the one food you haven't had in weeks but we'll have as soon as this competition is over. Oh goodness, there's actually a long list, but I would have to say a giant cheeseburger. And when I mean a cheeseburger, it needs to be the real deal, like cheddar cheese, bacon, barbecue sauce, maybe even an onion ring. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, and it makes you hungry, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> so now Alabama knows how to eat. So uh -huh. <laughs> these are two of my four dogs. This is Will, the English Bulldog, and Hooch, the Pit Bull. And then, as far as cats go, I'm gonna have to scroll through. Might actually be easier. I have six cats. What On the, names? There's Franny, Flo, Harley, Terry, Pat, and Binks. I'm the daughter of a veterinarian, so I feel like that's at least an excuse. That makes sense. That's Flo. And then that's Bo, that's Jack. Can we see Flo one more time? There's Jack. There's Penny. That's my pride and joy, Franny. Isn't that precious? Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you. <laughs> they'll be so excited to make their TV. Yeah, they'll be on TV. <laughs> I love it. Before they compete for the crown, see what this year's Miss America contestant said behind the scenes. All this week, the Live Well Network catches each one revealing beauty tricks and personal secrets you won't see in the competition. We found some winners. Rebecca Spira hosts Miss America Secrets Reveal. All new every night beginning Monday, January 7th, only on the Live Well Network. Check your local listings or click Choose Your City to find the Live Well Network in your area.